Where were you? I went to the beach. Just needed some fresh air. Why? Was it on the way to the shop? No. What? What? What did I do? What, seriously, can a grown man not go to the shop on his own? I would have gone on my own if you told me you weren't going. Why would I think you weren't? You always go. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, you never do. Oh, also don't forget your lunch, it's on the side. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you later. Hi, sorry. My name is Tegan. I found this bottle with your number. Not something you find every day, you know. Yeah, I guess you don't. Well, do you want the name for the number? Hi, my name's Jackie. Nice to meet you, Tegan. Nice to meet you, Jackie. Sorry, is this a bad time? Do you want me to call back later? No, don't worry about it. Nice to hear from someone about the bottle. Got worried I wasn't going to get a call from anyone. What do you mean? I guess you could call it a keepsake. Something to remember someone by. Oh, I understand that. I have some myself. Yeah. When I was younger, I never really cared for things like that. I wasn't a sentimental type, but now I've found that it really does help. Feel connected to someone, even if they aren't there. What was it doing in the ocean then? Well, that's the nature of my keepsake in particular. Oh, mine are all just from my niece. Just small souvenirs from her travels. Let's me know she's safe and happy. That's lovely. Do you see her often? I used to see her more often before my sisters and her family moved. I still go over to theirs at the other days and see her, but that's only once a year. Yeah, that sounds tough. How about your home life? Do you live on your own or with a partner or with family? I live with my husband, Frank. Oh, how long have you two been together? 30 years. Oh, wow. That seems a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So... Where is my souvenir travel place? Crosby. Not the most exciting place for it to wash up, but it's home. Yeah? Home town? Oh yeah, born and raised. I can't imagine. I haven't seen my hometown in a long time. Can't stay in one place for too long? Not really. I guess you could say I never really dealt with the place too much. Not the worst, but... Bit factors at times. I can understand that. Honestly, I hope to get away some point in the future. Mm. Mm. Right, where is it? Frank, I thought you were at work. Hello? Tegan? 
you were right. You hung up in a hurry. Sorry about that. Yeah, I needed to deal with a few things. You sure? It sounded a bit stressful. Yeah, it's fine. Just my husband coming home for lunch. Is that a daily routine? Not really. He picks and chooses sometimes. Today it's because he left his lunch at home. Yeah, it happens. I always forget something on the way out. Well, I guess you're right. I just wish you wouldn't give me so much shit for it. Oh? Well, it's just... I try and help him at every turn. Get his lunch ready, keep the house tidy. Always try and make sure that everything he needs is always there. But he always has to spit in my face about something. It's never enough. And there's never a thank you or show of appreciation whatsoever. Honestly, it's like taking care of a child. That's not good. No, it's really not. And the way he speaks to me sometimes, I just, I don't feel. I don't feel like his partner anymore. Sounds like you've had that on your chest for a while now. Honestly, yeah. I just wish at the very least we could get along. But even that's nowhere near anymore. Why are you still there? What? I mean, you mentioned you wanted to travel, so what's stopping you? My sister's invited me in the past, but Frank would always kick up a fuss at the very idea of it. So I always declined, and the invites just eventually stopped coming. Sorry if I'm overstepping, but... In my experience, you shouldn't let others get in the way of what you want to do. I think you should do it. What, just pack up and travel? Yeah, it might be good for you. Sounds like you've been cooped up inside looking after him for God knows how long. A bit of space for yourself might do you some good. Always helped me. Yeah? My wife and I, we love the vacation. Lived abroad for a few years too. Dara especially loved it. She was always talking about the next trip. Where are you two going next? It'll just be me next time. Oh. But it'll be relaxing to get away again. Dara would have wanted me to keep travelling, seeing new sights and having more adventures. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. She lived a good life. She was loved and did what she loved, so... That's what matters. Well, if you need a travel partner in the future, don't be a stranger. Definitely. It would be nice to have a friend around. Thank you. Yeah, it would be. Can I call you back later? Sure. But could you possibly do something for me first? Sure. What is it? Yeah, of course. I'll let you know. Tegan! Where are you?
Hi, Frank. Tegan! I thought you'd have finished the cleaning by now. I'm leaving, Frank. I mean, seriously. I could have fallen and broken my neck over there. I mean, what's all the bags doing anyways? I'm leaving. You what? Leaving? Yes. <laughs> to where? To who? My sisters. On my own. You can't be serious. With what money? I scrimp and save to provide for this house, working my ass off. I rang my sister, and it's laughable what you call scrimping and saving. I mean, look at you. I've tried helping you for years, getting nothing back. Now, I'm done. Helping me? You've done nothing of the sort. Do you know what you are? You're a leech. Oh, don't you start this, Frank. I have sacrificed so much of my life for you. We're playing this game. All right, you want receipts? I'll give you receipts. My sister's baby shower. Holidays with family. My mother's surgery. My niece growing up. All parts of the novel-sized list of events and situations I have not been involved in per your request. No, I am not continuing this, Frank. I am not continuing this with you. This never-ending cycle. We're neither of us happy, don't you see? Tegan. Please. No! Goodbye, Frank.